all I can think is how dare somebody come into my house after me and my kids while my husband's out serving the country and taking the battle to the enemy. Well, one of the funniest things that could happen as a SEAL on a deployment happened to us. In 2009, I was on a combat mission in Afghanistan. And at every mission, you come back sort of excited and also apprehensive to tell your wife or whoever what had happened. And uh, got on the phone with Stacy, and I was so excited to tell her, oh, my God, we did all this killing and about got shot and I was going to tell her all this and she stops me mid-sentence with this outlandish crazy story of what it was like for her. So at the time our home was pretty large and had several entrances and always but especially when Tom's deployed I take personal safety very seriously. I mean he's gone doing what he's doing. I have all three kids and I'm responsible for making sure we're all safe while he's gone. So about two or three in the morning, I hear a loud bang, and I'm sure that there's somebody in our home. And I'm, you know, I'm scared, and I'm furious. All I can think is, how dare somebody come into my house after me and my kids while my husband's out serving the country and taking the battle to the enemy? So having no real skills but thinking, I'm not going to do anything without a gun in my hand if there's somebody in our house, I go and I grab Tom's pistol. And I chamber around and I continue to walk through each of our children's bedrooms. And lo and behold, they're sleeping and they're peaceful and they're fine. They're little angels, of course. And then I think, somebody's got to be downstairs. And I sit and listen for a minute and I don't hear anything. So I go downstairs. There's nothing amiss and nothing out of place there either. And I decided at that time I'm going to go back up to my room, and the only place that I haven't checked is this big walk-in closet that we have. And I think, oh, my gosh, I wonder if something broke or fell in there. And I go to push the door open, and I cannot open the door because the big rack of clothing that I had on the dowel was too much for it, and it snapped the dowel in half like a toothpick. And all I was thinking the whole time is, gosh, I know she's going to tell me she shot shot somebody. She had to shoot somebody. Come on, please. Please let me be the seal that his wife shot somebody, and I'm like, maybe she buried him in the closet. There's got to be something to this story. And as she tells the story, I was like, oh, my God, so what's the big deal? She goes, Tom, I'm kind of embarrassed. I have a pistol that has the hammer that's back. Can you help me unload it? And so I talked her through that, and she pointed the gun at me on the Internet. It's, it's cool. That's what happens. And uh, it was just one of those things that you never think, you never hear the real-life stories of people, of how funny it is to, to be the woman at home and how crazy and anticipatory it is to be the man trying to, tell this cool story. And I don't even know if I even told you the story. Yeah. I mean, eventually we got to that, but one of my favorite parts was you going, is that it? I know. I was totally, there had to be something better. (laughs) Nothing good ever happens to me. I couldn't possibly be the guy whose wife blows away a home intruder while he's on deployment. Oh, And And then go ahead. It's interesting. I think, you know, that it's a very intense experience that you have during a deployment like that. Those are things I don't think most people could relate to going on. Oh, just another day in the married life of Tom and Stacey Shea. Totally true. Yeah. 